All right, people, here we go. We're gonna put in this Maximus 3 winch plate, which I have right here. The box for that was 30 pounds, I believe. The tow loops might've been 30. The winch plate is 30. And then I have a Badlands Apex we're gonna put on. That's 67 from the box. So you figure we're adding I don't know, 120 pounds right on the front. I didn't measure it before I put it on, so I don't know how much we're going to sag. But one of the first instructions what we're going to have here is this is the driver's side on the inside. And our bolt, it's going to go through this hole right here. All right, guys, we have the rear bolts tightened. I have some temporary bolts right here to hold it in place. Uh, your rear ones, there it goes in that hole right there. And then you have to go through that hole to tighten it down. So now we're on our way to loading up this apex. A lot of times you have to cut that lever, your engage one. But I bought these spacers, they're three fourths of an inch from Rugged Ridge. And they fit just right and the screws fit just right. So what I need to figure out and hopefully get right the first time, but we'll see, is that we're trying to use these front screws on the Maximus 3 to get us more forward to keep the cord away from the back and still have room for the bumper to fit over and have that lever up higher. So let's get loose fitting. All right, so if you haven't done this perhaps before, in one of the bags for the Badlands you have these square nuts. The square nuts fit inside these holes, right? And the shape will actually hold them down so when you're screwing it in. And then I'm gonna take these rugged ridge spacers and we're gonna put them up here and then put the Badlands right on top of there. And then the screws that come with the rugged ridge, I've already tested, they fit just perfect to come all the way up to the bottom. Okay, the Badlands is mounted. We got space here, I'd say quarter of an inch. Space on that side, quarter of an inch, so we're good and centered. Um, I think we have more space back there than normal. If I pulled it enough, I could keep it away. So now, let's see about the bumper. These posts are all the way in. Four posts for the bumper. These are not even coming through, but I'm hitting the front. So that means I'm going to have to take the bumper off and just pull it off. And undo the winch, slide it back to the next two holes and then put the bumper back on. The good side, at least right now, lever clears. It's got plenty of room. All right, so I tightened up four of the eight nuts on the bumper bolts. We're clear here. We are touching here. So it's gonna be on there tight. I guess I might have to look at maybe moving the control box, I don't know. We'll see. But it definitely has to go on the back four holes. So now, bumper off. Use the back four holes. Loosen this up. Get your negative cable on the back there. Put these guys on. And we need to put the fair lead on the front because you can't get to those bolts once the bumper's on. Note, we're on the back holes of these right here. We got those lined up. We got our small negative and our long negative, and I'm right up to the back. All the nuts and bolts provided fit, whether it be from Rugged Ridge, uh, Apex, or Maximus 3. So, took me a minute, so I'm just showing you guys because I had to find where, you know, where do all these bolts go because there's, <laughs> there's no instructions. But we had the four small ones with this black plate in the front and the two large silver ones for the apex so we have these two right here and the two on the side with this plate it has a lip pointing up which i had to go back and try and double check i guess this angle shows you and then we have this guy on so now we're going to go ahead and tighten down the winch and get the rope through and then put on the bumper all right now before we put the skid plate back on which is all ready to go, everything's finished up front. We want to run these wires up through the front and we want to do that before the skid plate is on because 
it blocks a lot of this view right here. It'll make it harder to do. So we want to do the positive cable already has a sheathing on it, but we want to get one on the negative. And then what I'm going to try and do is run it up over this body frame up here and then straight back. Do the side, I'm going to touch those ties up so they look black. Up right there through the fender, up into the engine bay. See, I came in right there. I know that's hard to see. Then I wrapped it around here, down there, and then I have the cutoff switch, and I don't have it secured down. I just have it sitting between the battery and the frame. I think that's good enough for right now. I don't really want a permanent mount anything anyway. And then our negative comes here, pause it over there. And it's on right now. And we go ahead and do this. All right, one thing to keep in mind, I was wondering what was going on, is that the wireless has an on off switch over here on the side. So when you first get it, it's gonna be powered off and the light would come on the wireless, but it wasn't working. So I was like, uh, okay. But it's all good, it's all wired up. You guys have a good one.